YouTube, Eugene here with a review on the Osama Sentai King Oger DX God Hopper. Yes, friends, well, let's go ahead and take it in the box. Right here says Osama Sentai King Oger. Right here says DX God Hopper. And right here says God Hopper in English here. Got a nice shot of God Hopper himself and a nice shot of Hopper King Oger. And so here's the top of the box. Here's the bottom of the box. Here's the side of the box. Here's the other side of the box. And here is the back of the box, friends. So let's go ahead now, friends, and get to it with God Hopper. All right, friends, so just like God Kabuto and God Scorpion, God Hopper is also known as the Auxiliary Shoe Gods. And at the end of Episode 8 of King Oger, it made a brief appearance defeating Jiro Jim in a death landing and making his full debut in Episode 9 of King Oger, debuting as the Hopper Armor. So take a look at this amazing grasshopper known as God Hopper. And so God Hopper is the grasshopper base mecha, also a treasure of the earth and one of the three great Shugushin. So that's God Kabuto, God Scorpion, and God Hopper, the three great Shugushin, also known as the auxiliary shoe gods. And so God Hopper is this cool little grasshopper base mecha and I dig its design. And I just love grasshoppers in real life, but this mecha standard is very neat here. And it's on the small side as a grasshopper is. Also friends, God Hopper is the first grasshopper themed mecha in Super Sentai history. And so God Hopper's design and motif is giving me a vibe of the Hopper Zector from Kamen Rider Kabuto. So I really do dig his color scheme here. And just like God Kabuto and God Scorpion's main color is this very cool black color. And so it's got some nice metallic green for the eyes. And then we got some nice gold paint on its mouth. And then the front legs in a nice gold paint as well with the nice mechanical details. Look at the nice details in the legs. Looks very nice. And so you know, we've got some, uh, uh, some nice pink here, which is a magenta color on the back and on its legs. And pretty much part of that asymmetrical details with that graffiti pattern so yes another god that's been fighting for a very very long time so yeah he's battle worn and i do like how all three of the auxiliary shoe gods has these patterns with god kabuto with the neon green god scorpion with the scion and god hopper with the magenta and it goes so well with the black Got more nice gold paint on the center here. So it's got a lot of nice molded details throughout. And of course, here are the back legs here in this goldish plastic here. So anyway, here's a back view of God Hopper. And then uh, here's the same, the other side here. So pretty much the same paint pattern here. Uh, here's a top view of God Hopper. And here is a bottom view of God Hopper. So he looks all around neat here, I gotta say. So articulation, well, there's not much useful articulation here. The legs here are spring loaded. And then this section of the legs can close in two clicks. And that's it. And it has this very fun jumping action gimmick here. And to do that, you push down here on his butt here. And like a grasshopper, he can hop. And it's something that God Kabuto and God Scorpion had with the horn action and stinger action. But friends, this is so fun. And you may mess up from time to time, but knock on wood, I'm not messing up at all. Let me try a different angle. But this is just too fun. I could do this all day if I could. And of course, like I said, uh, you can mess up from time to time when it doesn't land on its feet. So anyway, and uh, this is a cute little grasshopper mech. I really like him. But uh, anyway, and then just giving you some other side views of his face here. But uh, yeah, I really like this little gimmick here.
Now let's transform God Hopper into the Mighty Hopper armor. And so we'll go ahead and detach the back grasshopper legs. So bend these uh, legs in. Same repeated pattern as the other one. Detach and then bend these legs in. And so that's it for that. And then we're going to take the main body and pretty much split it down the middle and then open it up and it'll reveal to us this very nice shiny chrome gold which was well hidden in God Hopper. But again a little close up here but very nice and detail in the chrome. Very nice. Uh, just look at the nice details. And so anyway so that is it. And so uh, here is the Hopper armor. And so now the combo with King Oger. So now we'll go ahead and take the back legs of God Hopper and they're going to uh, clip into the knees of King Oger, pretty much above God Kamakiri and God Hachi. So let's go ahead and do that. And then same thing with the other side. Now the main body of God Hopper becomes the armor chest panel. So we're going to uh, clip onto God Kumo, which has these uh, two clips. And when you turn the armor chest panel around, you can see right here and right here, um, you can pretty much see where the clips clip into. So we're gonna go ahead and clip the entire chest panel like so. And so friends, you are done. So here is Hopper King Oger and wow. And I think that Go Chrome really brings out the mecha. And it did some action in episode nine with the high jumps and the Hopper armor charging with energy upon landing, which was a nice finisher by the way. So yeah, I really do like what this mecha does in the show. Now we got uh, got Hopper added to this formation here. So again, here is Hopper King Oger. So now adding God Kabuto and God Scorpion as the Kabuto Cannon and the Scorpion Claw with the combo with God Hopper and King Oger. And so here he is, friends, Legend King Oger. Now he made brief appearances in episode one and four as flashbacks but made his full kick-ass debut in episode 10 of King Oger. But he looks good as a 13 combo of bug insects. And thanks to the auxiliary shoe god combined with King Oger, it gives the mecha a new splash of color with the basic black from the three, and then the shine from the gold chrome, and then the regular uh, gold. And of course, King Oger has weapons besides the Shoe God Sword now being equipped with a cannon, a claw, and armor. So this guy looks absolutely fantastic. Final thoughts. Again, I totally dig God Hopper and what it becomes as a weapon to King Oger, well, armor. And it is nice we get a Grasshopper based mecha and our first Grasshopper based themed mecha in Super Sentai history. Love this guy and love the fact that he is the first. And so, anyway, its color scheme and design looks great. So, yeah, again, no complaints here, and I so love the Legend King Oger formation. A 13 combo of bug insects, so you do have two ways of getting God Hopper. So, yes, friends, yes, I cannot help to stress this, but I so 100% recommend God Hopper. And of course, this amazing King Oger toy line as well. And so, all I gotta say is good luck and happy hunting. And so, friends, that is it for this review. Please check out my blog. So make sure, friends, you hit that button of the video. And of course, my friends, this review on the Ultimate awesome Sentai King Oger DX God Hopper. I hope you enjoy. My friends, I'm Eugene. I'm signing good day. And my friends, I must assuredly see you next time. Bye, friends.